robots are taking over the world. Well, not really. Hello and welcome to this episode of HXGN TV. I'm your host, Laura Beth Ezel, and joining me today is Jerry Sue with Hexagon Safety and Infrastructure. Jerry is over Hexagon Safety and Infrastructure Strategy. And also joining us today, this is Ramsey with Gamma 2 Robotics. We're going to be talking to both of them about how robots can keep us safer. Thank you both for joining me today. Great. Thank you, Laura. Thank you for having me. Well, we're going to talk to Ramsey in just a minute. We're going to let uh, talk to Jerry first. Jerry, just first tell me about this initiative that Hexagon Safety and Infrastructure has taken on in leveraging robots in the security sector. Sure, absolutely. absolutely. Um, as we've probably all seen or heard uh, via our daily lives or, or through the news, uh, there's definitely a growing market adoption for the use of uh, uh, mobile sensor platforms, such as UAVs, or mm -hmm. as most people know them as drones, as well as uh, robotics, like our friend here. Mm -hmm. um, and we really think this trend has uh, the potential to uh, disrupt our traditional um, public safety and security markets. Um, so what we're really doing in our initiative is to explore ways of uh, integration of these variety of mobile sensor platforms with our own command and control software, mm -hmm. as well as our own advanced analytics solutions as well, uh, to really enhance public safety and security applications and really be at the uh, forefront of this growing market trend. So uh, what can you tell me about this type of robot and the benefits it would bring? Sure, so this is uh, Ramsey as uh, we just met. Um, He's uh, built by uh, one of our partners, uh, Gamma 2 Robotics. And Ramsey represents um, a variety of mobile sensor platforms. And as you can see, with uh, these type of platforms, there comes a variety of uh, sensors, be it intrusion detection or motion sensors, fire sensors, uh, and the like. Um, and, and really, with those sensors, it collects and carries a lot of data sets. Um, and with that, we can uh, you know, offer uh, real-time um, um, monitoring, mm -hmm. real-time assessment, uh, analysis, as well as uh, response. Um, really, these autonomous platforms are, can be leveraged to augment, um, you know, traditional tasks done mm -hmm. by people um, and improve cost of ownership, improve or increase uh, effectiveness, productivity, uh, as well as reliability and, and, you know, ultimately safety. So what is the strategy behind you know, this security-focused solution leading into the future? Sure, so we're still very early in the innovation curve, um, but our vision really is to um, be able to offer a cloud-deployable security mm -hmm. service um, you know, to a multitude of uh, end customers. And what we really want to do is hook in the mobile sensors um, uh, with uh, you know, our command and control right. software and offer a comprehensive end-to-end -end technology solution um, to be used not only in a command and control room, but also via your mobile uh, device or mobile tablets as well, right. so across several different mediums. Almost like if someone was at home, they can have access it, to it. it exactly. So for, think about it, uh, crews uh, out in the field can use mm -hmm. it as well, so uh, absolutely across several mediums. So who could benefit from using these type of robots? Sure. So. You know, we see many different use cases um, that could drive uh, various customer benefits, and um, we see a couple different end customers as well. You know, one being, think your industrial um, and commercial customers, so think your big box retailers, uh, or any customer with um, a large warehouse that would have um, inventory that might be sitting there that could be prone to theft or other type of security issues. So that could be one type of end customer. Uh, another uh, end customer could be the actual security guard service providers. Mm -hmm. um, these potential customers are very much a people intensive business and we think a technology solution uh, like this uh, can really augment that uh, you know, people workforce mm -hmm. and again increase uh, effectiveness, increase productivity as well as total cost. Um, I think third you know, we see potentially the public safety agencies themselves as a, a potential end customer as well um, as they explore and adopt new technology innovations like uh, we have underway here. Well, thank you for your insight. We're going to now let the robot speak for himself. Uh, can you tell me your name? I am Ram Z, a purpose built autonomous security robot. Well, how do you help uh, improve safety and security? I 
can carry a variety of sensors and computing power to detect potential threats or problems and alert someone to respond or take action. I don't sleep. I don't get tired. And I never get sick. I am always on the lookout. Well, how do you work with Hexagon's Command Portal product? I play very well with Command Portal. Operators monitor my status and control my actions through Command Portal. Using my various cameras and sensors, operators can see what I see from virtually anywhere in the world. If Command Portal detects a problem somewhere that needs to be investigated, it can deploy me to be the eyes and ears on the scene. Okay, well, thank you for your insight, Ramsey, and thank you for Jerry. We've done it all now, right? Yep, great. Thank you for Inter having us. Inter interviewed a robot. Well, thank you for joining us today. For more information on Hexagon Safety and Infrastructure, you can go to hexagonsafetyinfrastructure.com. For more on HXGN TV or to watch additional episodes, you can go to hxgntv.com. Thank you for joining us.